The first chapter of Sea of Thieves, The Legend of Monkey Island Adventure is out now, and if you need help getting to Guybrush Threepwood's mansion, this video will show you the way. So here's how to complete the journey to Melee Island. First things first, you're going to need to find Kate Capsize, who is located on the shore of any of the outposts. Vote to start the adventure, and this will trigger a bunch of dialogue between her and the Pirate Lord, setting up the story of Guybrush Threepwood being trapped in the Sea of the Damned. After all the yakking is done, you'll be given Kate's logbook, and a portal will open up in the nearby archway out in the water. Sail your ship through the archway, and you'll be on your way to Melee Island. After you've sailed through the Sea of the Dam and reached Melee Island, dock your ship, and if you look around, you'll find these coins called Pieces of Eight lying about. They're the main currency used on Melee Island, so be sure to pick them up as you find them, as they're going to be very important later on. The first place you should check out is the Scum Bar, which is full of various drunk pirates, a talking dog, these two skulls mounted on the wall, and in the back you'll find the chef. Among the various pirates in here will be the pirate leaders, who will give you useful info about what's going on with Guybrush and the island, and you'll also find this fellow who has the clock tower key, so keep that in mind for later. For now, speak with the chef and choose the I'm looking for work dialogue option. He'll tell you that he hired an assistant, but they haven't picked up their uniform from the general store yet. So we're off to the general store, which is just up the way from the bar into town. Now, if you wander around town a bit, you'll see the Citizen of Melee selling various wares that you currently can't buy. These three friendly fellows, who will give you a bit more info about what you're supposed to do in this adventure. If you look up, you'll see the clock tower, and if you go underneath that and enter the first building on your right, you'll find the general store. And around the corner from that, you'll come to an alley with a skeleton named Walt, who is scaring off a pack of piranha poodles by spitting his gunpowder gummies at them. Past the clock tower is a church where you can get more pieces of eight inside, and beside that is a jail, where you'll find an inmate named Otis and his friend Captain Coco the Talking Coconut. Finally, there are these various ghostly skeletal guards patrolling the town, including one blocking the way to Guybrush's mansion, who will give you a bunch of excuses as to why you can't see him. So, we got all that? Alright, let's move on. Now, enter the general store, and to get the uniform, you're going to need 45 pieces of eight. As I said before, these are scattered all over. Sometimes they'll be on the top of barrels, other times you'll need to remove the lids of boxes to find bags of them inside. You can pick these up off of the tables in the scum bar, where patrons have already passed out, and if you head all the way to the right side of the island, and travel up the mountain trail, you'll reach Lookout Point, where you'll also find a man named Lookout. If you talk to him and tell him that you've spotted a ship, he'll be so distracted that you can steal his sack of coins for 12 pieces of eight. Once you've accumulated 45 of these things, purchase the chef's uniform and then change into the outfit using the clothing chest inside the store. Now that you look like a chef, head back to the scum bar, speak to the chef, and he'll tell you to get started on the meat stew. After that, he'll go on his break, allowing you to have free reign of the kitchen. Now read the recipe book on the table to learn the ingredients that you'll need for the meat stew. You'll need a tender cut of meat, a caniche mordant flour, a diced onion, a sliced leek, a red herring for no particular reason, and root beer sprinkles. Most of these ingredients are already in the kitchen. You could chop up the onion and the leek on the same table as the recipe book. You'll find the meat over here, the flour is on a shelf, the root beer sprinkles are up on a higher shelf, and as for the red herring, you'll need to grab the kitchen door key, open up the back door to access this jetty, and then pull out your fishing rod and fish for a red herring. Once you've caught one, toss it into the pot along with the other ingredients, and you'll have some root beer stewed meat. Now there's something else you could do now that you have access to the kitchen. You'll be able to use this keg to fill your tankard with extra potent grog. You can now go to the tables of the scum bar, and you'll be able to pour your extra potent grog out of your tankard into the tankard 
to the pirates here. Do this three times to each pirate to cause them to pass out so that you can steal their pouches of pieces of eight. You can also do this with a pirate who has the clock tower key, which will allow you to steal that as well. Now take the root beer stewed meat and head back to the alley with Walt and the piranha pools. Feed the meat to the dogs and they'll become rather creepy and tear Walt to shreds. With Walt dead, or dead again, you'll be able to take his pair of gunpowder gummies. Also, his destroyed body will be on the ground. So take a mental image of that horrible sight, because we're gonna need them bones later on. Now from here, we have the gummies and the clock tower key. You could do the steps in this quest in whichever order, but for now, let's get rid of the clock tower key first. Head to the clock tower and unlock the first door, then head up the stairs, and at the top, you'll find another door that you can unlock to gain access to the gear room. In here, you'll find a skeletal right arm that is jammed in the mechanism. So yank that out and you can now attach it to Walt's body. There's also a ship wheel in here that you can use to set the clock. So change the time to midnight as that's actually part of the quest to get to Guybrush's mansion. If you spoke to the guard at some point, they would have mentioned that. I didn't speak to the guard. I just did this because it was one of the commendations, but it's part of the main quest. So set the clock to midnight. Now, as for the gummies, go to the jail and place one of them inside the lock on Otis's cell. We could blow the cell open with that, but we're going to need a fuse, which we could buy at the general store for 70 pieces of eight. Yep, well, if you don't have enough money, guess it's time to go scavenging around the island again. Make sure you robbed all of the pirates in the bar with the extra potent grog, and you'll also find more pieces of eight inside the clock tower. And if you're still short after that, you just keep looking around for extras. Once you've got the coins, buy the fuses and attach one to the gummy in the gel cell door. Then take out your lantern and light the fuse with it to free Otis, who after a disagreement with his imaginary friend will leave Captain Coco behind. You'll have one extra gunpowder gummy and a fuse that you could then use to blow open the adjacent gel cell door. And in there, you'll find a skeletal left arm that you could also attach to Walt's body. Now let's circle back to a character I haven't talked about much yet, the citizen of Melee. He's been waiting for a shipment of cargo that's gone missing. So let's find that shipment. In the jail, you'll find a claw hammer on a table. Grab that and let's head back to the docks. On the rightmost dock, if you jump into the water, you'll find a crate with these frayed ropes that you can cut. Then get out of the water and use the crane to retrieve the crate from the water and bring it onto the dock. Use the claw hammer to pry it open to get the citizen's cargo. Bring this crate to him and he'll give you a meet and greet ticket with Guybrush. Now from the citizen, we could buy a cute monkey toy for 60 pieces of eight. So hopefully you should have that if you've been scrounging up all the coins. But if you don't, get to scrounging. Buy the monkey toy. And if you spoke with Spiffy the dog in the bar earlier, you might have heard it say the word monkey. Give the toy to the dog and in exchange, change, you'll receive a femur bone. Make sure to talk to the dog too after you give it the toy because that's part of a commendation. Now take that bone and the other two bones that we found and make sure you attach them to Walt's body in the alley. Now it's back to the jail, pick up Captain Coco and head back to the bar. Head over to the skulls that are mounted on the wall and switch out the skull named Murray with Captain Coco. There's a commendation for giving Murray a guided tour of the island and I'll show you how to find all the locations to get the commendation in a separate video because this one's getting too long as it is. Now after the guided tour, bring Murray's head to Walt's corpse and attach it and Murray will start moving around with his new body. He'll very slowly head over to the guard that's in front of Guybrush's mansion and relieve him of his duty, allowing you to head up to the mansion. So go to the mansion, open up the door, listen to the deranged ramblings of Guybrush in his office, and repeatedly bang on his office door before you're able to finally barge in and see the man himself. Unfortunately, he seems to have gone crazy, and he'll ramble some more before 
falling asleep. And after that, you can ransack his office for more pieces of eight. Then head into his bedroom, steal more money from him, walk over to his bed, and pull back the bedclothes to find a bunch of monkeys, Elaine's letter, and the Mighty Pirate Chest key, which you can then use to open up the Mighty Pirate Chest in front of his bed. Inside will be four root beer bottles, just enough for a full crew of pirates. Upon grabbing the root beer bottles, LeChuck's ship will arrive. Exit the mansion and LeChuck will reveal his fiendish plan to keep Guybrush trapped here forever. You'll then be attacked by the members of his skeleton crew, who you can defeat using the root beer bottles. Just shake them up and then spray the root beer onto the ghostly skeletons that cause them to inflate and explode, which is probably a fetish for somebody out there. Headed to town and keep re-killing all of these skeletons with root beer, and after they're all beaten, the door to this shop illuminated by green light will open, revealing a store with a cauldron inside. Place one of your root beer bottles into the cauldron, and Karina will appear in this chair. Talk to her, and she'll offer to send you back to your ship and back to the Sea of Thieves, ending this adventure. But before you do that, make sure you've finished up all of your commendations on this island. And for help with that, here's another video that I'm probably putting right about here, I assume, if I have that ability. And if I do, that's where the video will be that will help you get every single commendation done. For now, I've been Jamie Latour. Be sure to check out thegamer.com for all your gaming news and guides, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.